Hello everyone and thank you once again for joining me Jan Hart here on whichever social media platform you are watching this. Um, I had hoped to get the view behind me. It's, it's just beautiful forest. Oh, you know what? There it is. Um, if I have to keep it, oh, if I have to keep it just like that, I will because it's just so cute behind me. But for whatever the reason is, there's just this glare um, that I just, I don't know what that is. It just keeps coming. Burst of light. So um, we'll run with it. Uh, so thank you so much once again for joining me. And today, um, my goal is to motivate you in marketing. So today is Marketing Motivation 101. That's where, <laughs> where we are today. And what um, I would like to get across today, uh, someone told me, put it in bullets. You know, let us know what we're going to learn. So um, today, what you're going to learn is how to understand hurdles um, that uh, you are facing in business. Um, so no matter what endeavor you try to um, accomplish, if you want to be great at it, if you want to do it with excellence, uh, then there are going to be hurdles. Um, so we're definitely going to discuss how to overcome hurdles uh, on, the, on the beginner and intermediate level. Let me make that clear. Um, all of my videos are really for people who are getting started, and especially those who have gotten started and feel as though they need a little bit of extra motivation because they just don't have um, the proper support system or like-minded folks um, involved in their endeavor as of yet. And they need, um, you know, support videos to help them get pumped up and be motivated towards um, accomplishing their goal. Um, so uh, that'll be the first thing that we talk about. Um, the second thing will be attacking the third hurdle. Um, so we're going to discuss what are those three top hurdles and, you know, how to attack the third one actually first in order to, uh, you know, make the first and the second one more beneficial. Um, and then lastly, how to address uh, marketing. So marketing for the little man or woman. Um, we definitely want to look at realistic options, you know, cover things that are cost effective, um, strategies that go beyond just the social media posts. So we're going to look at actual um, things that you can do. Um, I'm all about helping you to understand how to help yourself. Um, so, um, number one, my question for you is, what are your three top hurdles? So, as an entrepreneur, as a small business owner right now, get your, your pad and write down your three top hurdles that you are facing as a small business owner. While I wait, I try to get my treats back. But they are so pretty. It's just really pretty back there. So, <clears throat> okay. Now, this is my prediction. My prediction is that one of the things on your list was time. So, if you were able to, like, duplicate yourself 15 times, you probably still would make a couple extra because time... It's just of the essence and you need to figure out how to get more of it in order to accomplish what it is that you're trying to accomplish with your endeavor. So I'm going to say that one of the things on your list was definitely time. And then if you are anything like I was when I first got started, then your second thing on your list is going to be finances, money. Because uh, I really, really thought that, you know, money was essential in order for you to have effective marketing, um, to have marketing that would reach your population, um, marketing that would, you know, be able to draw people in and, you know, make people want to get involved with what it is that you are promoting. I thought that you had to have, you know, money to the campaign, campaign manager, and blah, 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 blah. So I would jump out there and I would say that time and money are definitely on your list. So I could be wrong, but I will wager that they're on there. Um, I would even say that they were the top two um, for most people. I won't say all, but for most, that marketing um, did not make the list. But for me, that is the third, third hurdle, marketing. I think that a lot of times, small business owners, we get wrapped up in the first two, time. Oh, it just needs to be more hands involved in this endeavor. Number two, money. Oh, if only I have more of it, then I can do this and I can do that. So once we get wrapped up in that, what I'll call a rat race, 
okay because a lot of times we become entrepreneurs so that we can get out of the rat race only to find out that we have actually entered into a new type of rat race and that is you know trying to figure out how to have enough time how to have enough energy how to have enough resources how to have enough money in order to accomplish what it is that we're trying to accomplish i think that the key that we need to remember as small business owners is that there's a proven formula for everything okay so i know that it seems as though your idea is um creative and ingenuitive and um you know it's you know breaking i understand but at the same point in time it's still someone somewhere who tries something similar and you can glean from the strategies or the funnels or whatever it is that they developed in order to make the sales pitch work um you have to glean from that information and say to yourself okay how can i apply this to my business so that my marketing can be good for the level that i am currently on okay so we're not trying to market um if you were with me back um at the first vlog you know that i'm saying to you hey you know get started where you are you know you if, if you have a business that can serve max capacity of 450 people you do not want a thousand people to show up at your door so the thing is is you know the marketing does not have to be as grand as we sometimes think that it does if we would just put the focus on exactly what it is that we are trying to target at our stage so market where you are your stage of development and move from that point that's the way we'll think oh i have enough time i don't have enough money um so when those things come into your mind those are the things that validate for you that marketing has you know i have no time for that right now those are the things that your mind tells you to keep you in the rat race, to keep you running and try to figure out, you know, how do I address immediate issues? How do I address the immediate need for clients and blah, blah, blah. So the thing is, is to remember that those things are keeping you stuck by validating for you that you don't need the answer because marketing just so happens to be the answer. And why do I say that? By not having effective marketing, by not having a marketing plan or strategy, you are actually costing yourself more than what it is that you will put into developing a proper strategy. All right, I'm going to prove it to you. So number one, if your marketing is not on point, it's sort of like when you go out to the club for whatever night, you know, maybe it's girls night, maybe it's date night, you go out and, you know, you, you put on this outfit and you you know put on sneakers with it it's a cute little dress but you said oh it would look so cute with these you know shoe sneakers right and then you get to the club and usually you know women can get away with anything it's the men that have to make sure you know they um you know have their shoes and then you know they have certain dress code for the men women usually lax so you get there you come to find out that the club you the club you wanted to go to only allows you to come in if you have on the proper shoe and you have on some shoe sneakers so now you have just limited your audience. No one gets to see your dress. No one gets to see your fancy moves because you were not dressed for success that night. And so now you have to go to club B across the street. And that was not where you were interested in going. And those was not the music that you was gonna listen to tonight. You didn't have moves for that kind of music. That was just not your plan for the evening. So the thing is, is that by not having marketing in place, you are limiting your audience. You are putting on an outfit and you are only planning for maybe a handful of people to see it. If you have marketing, then you will have a larger audience and then you will be able to reach more people with your awesomeness. Without marketing, you are limiting your vision. And so what I mean by that is, see, everyone doesn't take the word faith the same way. I'm not talking about hoping for something, wishing for something. I'm talking about something that came to you when you came to this world. You are now chasing after fulfilling something that, almost like when you give birth to a child, like you're chasing after fulfilling something that has been growing in you ever since you were little, ever since you picked up, you know, your first instrument or you picked up your first paintbrush or you picked up your first pen. I used to love the stationery department so I could go and jot down all kinds of stuff. Now I'm always jotting down to-do lists and trying to accomplish them. So the thing is, you know, your faith was activated 
for you to accomplish something and now you are trying to accomplish it but you're trying to accomplish it by limiting your vision your vision is awesome you know there's some people who are very protective of their creative ability you know i know people who they'll say no you can't look at my art book you can't look at this or you can't look at that and it's like you know i get it i understand i respect it because it's your art you can do what you want with it but just know that if you don't show it to anybody then you're limiting your audience and once again if you limit your audience then you are in a way limiting your vision because your vision doesn't have the ability to touch people and change people's lives so the thing is is that you have to look at marketing as just that serious yes yes it's like a sermon it's that serious like you need to look at your business as a as a child that you birthed into this world in the same way you would not send your child out there into the winter time or into the summertime without the appropriate clothes on without the appropriate clothes on you do not want to send your business out there without the appropriate clothes on you want your business to reach the proper audience you want your business to um, be able to grow you want your vision to be able to do what it was put in you to do by not having an effective marketing plan um, not only are you limiting your audience and limiting your vision which by the way usually causes a lot of frustration but you are also limiting your income potential so if you have less profit then you have less reward get that because people leave jobs where they've been for a minute that they are emotionally invested in because they say hey wait a minute at this stage in the game if you don't see my potential then I have to go somewhere else where they'll take you know all of the time and all of the energy that I've spent in this craft and they're gonna give me what I'm worth right so if people are gonna do it out there in the business world then shouldn't you do it in your own business Shouldn't you do it with your own vision if you haven't gotten started yet? Like, shouldn't you put in that extra effort and market or at least try to develop a strategy or a plan for the level where you are with your business so that that way you can give it the attention that it deserves. You can give it the audience that it deserves. It can reach the people and it can um, accomplish the thing that it was put in you for it to accomplish in this world. So the thing is, so the thing is, do not limit your vision your business by neglecting to develop a proper marketing strategy um, this will definitely limit your income potential um, the frustration will be up there um, that's the definitely a time when my heart starts to say wait a minute this person could be so helped if they just had some marketing um, that's why we have those free products on the free products page uh, because we know that people you know, at the beginning stage, they're more concerned with, you know, I need customers. Um, I got to put in the time. I got to put in the time to, you know, um, please this customers that I have right now. And if I don't please these customers and how I'm going to get good word of mouth, how I'm going to get the next customer and blah, 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 blah. And I understand that. Do not neglect pleasing your current customers. Do not neglect word of mouth. But at the same point in time, you have to put that into your marketing strategy. Word of mouth is just one stream of marketing. It has to be part of your strategy. It cannot be your complete strategy. You are limiting your income. And if you limit your income, you're going to limit your satisfaction level. You're going to be frustrated. Next thing you know, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm not getting the response that I really wanted to get from this audience. And boom, now you're in fear. You're afraid of what's going to happen. Am I going to have enough customers? Am I going to be able to pay my bills? You could have just stayed at work. <laughs> so the thing is, is you want to learn. You have to develop a proper marketing strategy. I promise you. It's one of those things. It's like when people are exercising and they're like, oh, I don't get down to my target weight. I'm going to get down. They have an objective. They have a plan. It's saying, I want to get down to about maybe um, 50 pounds off. Da, 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 da. They, they get it together. They're going to, you know, have a certain diet. They're going to have a certain this, certain that. And and I'm the reverse. I'm, it's crazy. No one's ever satisfied. Small people want to be big. They have self-image issues. Big people want to be small. And everyone should just be happy where they are. But this is an example. So, you know, people, they go out. They have this whole plan. They do this whole thing. And at the end of the day, 
when they start accomplishing, they start seeing the pounds come off, it's way, way after they set that plan in motion because the plan started when they set that target weight, not when the weight started coming off. So your vision, your goal, it does not come when you just, you know, start to see the customers come through the door. No, it came when you sat down and said, okay, this is the business that I want. This is how I want this business to look and so on and so forth. So do not neglect a proper marketing strategy. This is marketing motivation 101. That's the goal of this video is to pump you up that you can do this no matter where you are, no matter how busy you are, no matter what you have going on. I promise you there is a marketing strategy if you just say to yourself, okay, this is for the long game. This is for the long haul and I have to set aside a moment for this. I have to put aside something that I was going to enjoy in order for me to get this marketing strategy down. Sometimes you, you, you have to get past the, the harsh edges on, on, the, on the package and hear the message in the words. You know, everything has a message, no matter uh, what the package is, no matter if it's a painful package or if it's a, a, a loving package, it's always a message in there somewhere that can help you elevate yourself. And while we're talking about the benefits of marketing. Okay, so how to get it done, number one, I always tell people start where you are right just start where you are if you don't have a publicist yet you figure out how to be a publicist if you don't have a marketer yet figure it out okay so after you've done what you can do if you have the money to hire someone then start where your where your pockets are start with the marketing that you can afford back to the benefits of marketing um, market where you are. So one of the strategies that I would suggest you use is very, very simple. Find what platform works for you. So a platform means online. Okay, it's, it's an online place where, where people go and do different things. So you need to find out which one works for you. Um, I mean, there are so many. You can make Google and YouTube your best friend. They truly, 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 truly need to be your best friend. So you need to research what platform works for you. Um, if you do not have help or um, if you have not invested in a social media platform manager, they have online um, things that can manage all your different platforms, but they do cost money. Um, if you do not have one of those, either someone to help you manage it, I personally do not suggest that you go and you know just jump on every platform uh, I've done that um, so you know it's, it just creates different hurdles um, so the thing is is that you know things are good things are bad you have to understand the pros and the cons of everything so you know find out which platform works for you start there learn you know grow um, and go from there but that that's definitely one of the things you need to incorporate into your strategy remember it's not one thing it's numerous things it has to be a marketing plan it has to be a strategy okay so number two okay so number two uh, search according to your objective so only you can define that I mean I I don't know who's gonna watch this I don't know what industry that you're in but I know that it's the same regardless to what industry you're in It's the same regard to regardless of what you're doing if you want to do it successfully even if you're in school and you're trying to figure out okay how do I navigate school successfully you need to figure out okay what platform where are the tutors at where are the groups at that you know people are discussing uh, whatever class it is that I'm interested in and so on and so forth so it doesn't matter you know where you want to apply these um, steps towards marketing you might be marketing your business or you could be marketing yourself or your academic goals it's the same strategy you just have to apply it to yourself so you market where you are you find a platform that works for you you search according to your objective um, do you need a new audience or are you trying to retarget the current audience that you have um, you know you just have to define those things for yourself in order for you to figure out you know exactly what it is that you want your marketing plan to do because there's a difference in finding a new audience versus you retarding. So, back to this. Okay, so it's a it's a big difference between you finding a new audience, that's reach, versus you retargeting a current audience. That took planning. 
that means that you have some things already in place in order for you to be able to know who your audience is and then follow up with them basically um so you know you have to figure that out and once you define that once you are able to define which platform um is the best one for you become great on that platform get your reach up and so on and so forth and then you go on and you say okay what is my objective and you define your objective once you have those two things in place you are well on your way those are the main things that you have to get and then life gets easier for me i promise so next thing is finances so i understand i understand you can go from you can go from ten dollars you can go from five dollars a month um i suggest ten twenty dollars maybe maybe ten at the beginning of the month ten towards the end of the month reason being is because we spend money on the most foolish things we spend money on nonsense so if we can even say to ourselves okay i'm about i'm starving i'm about to go to lunch but you can detour or you can figure something out that will cause you to not have to spend money on that lunch. And you can take that money and put it back in your account and then put that on to some, you know, whichever platform you've chosen and, you know, use that in order to get your reach up or to retarget your current audience. You'll be surprised how that lends to um, the people who you are currently serving. You'll be surprised to the return that you get on that twenty dollars. Um, you will find that it will do magnitudes for your business, and then next thing you know, you won't worry about ten or twenty dollars. Then you'll be up to maybe fifty dollars a month, and then a hundred dollars a month, then a thousand dollars a month. You never know. So the thing is, is that you want to definitely make sure that um, you market um, where you are. You know, even if it is only ten to twenty dollars out of the month. Okay, so finally, the free stuff. So, um, I'm sure everyone knows about Craigslist. Um, Craigslist markets some of everything, right? So, a lot of people say, well, I don't want to use Craigslist because then I get spammed and blah, 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 blah. I promise you, I've been using Craigslist forever. And you do get some spam, You, but then you figure out what it is. It's the same thing like your phone. You can't stop the uh, robocalls from coming. You see robocalls even on Facebook TV. You just listen to some two-minute thing like this. And you're like, oh, okay, that's gone. Poop, here comes the next one. Poop, here comes the next one. And then, boom, there's one that's like, that's like a commercial. You know, so it's like you can't get away from commercials. So do not let commercials on free sites scare you away from using them. Use wisdom. Move slowly. Learn the platform. So, you know, you could use platforms like Craigslist. Find out what platforms work in your market. Um, you can get creative with it. Um, like if you are a realtor, um, HomeSnap. A lot of people love HomeSnap now. You know, anything with pictures. People love pictures. So, you know, platforms that make pictures, you know, their main theme. And that's the way that you can promote your specific niche. Um, so home snap is pictures, like maybe an Instagram, but at the same point in time, it's for people who are interested in homes. Um, so you know, check your app market. That's the thing. You know, a lot of times people don't check their app market. They forget about once again their best friends, Google and YouTube. And that is that's just a essential way of getting free. Even Google is free. Um, you know, so a lot of times I ask someone, you know, do you do anything with your Google listing? They're not doing anything with their Google listing. Like, they're on Google sometimes by default. Go Google yourself. Find out if, you know, when you Google your business name, where where's your business at as far as its profile? You know, is it missing the times that you're open? Um, are you missing, um, you know, posts? Have you made any posts on your um on your listing um do you manage that listing the same way you would manage an ad for space or for a property or for a product do you manage your online listing so the thing is, is that whether you are paying for an ad or whether you are using a free platform that you still have to know what you're doing because remember at the beginning of this video i talked a little bit about you might not pay for something or you might not pay for it now and then it may cost you a whole bunch later well this is that free thing that doesn't have to cost you anything once you get finished watching this goodbye Jeanette no more emotional attachment no financial attachment but if you get involved in you know some of the mentorships that they have at some of the promotional events that you go to um those are contracts those are things that you have to stay involved in it might not seem like you paid a lot up front but sooner or later they're gonna start demanding some of your time so Give your time now. Just give your time to yourself. 
And if you want to spend money later on on mentorship, once you know what you're asking you, you understand what's going to be required of you because it's required. No matter what, no matter what, it's still going to be required. The same sweat and tears are going to be required. So, you know, learn a little bit about your craft. Learn a little bit about marketing. Learn a little bit about, you know, the broader market market for your product and that will help your free marketing immensely um so of course i have my own little secrets um that i do um and those ones i will not share but we do as i said have a free products page it is www.holisticcoaching.info slash free products so that was flashed earlier in the video it's gonna flash again um it's gonna be somewhere in the comment section depending on which platform you're on and the reason why we do those free products is because we understand that marketing is essential it's essential so the thing is is that even if you say hey all i can do is just one promotion um now when we do the free promotion of course um we do that in our spare time we are doing that as a courtesy we're doing it as a um you know social benefit because we believe that you know people who are small business owners they are fulfilling you know some dream that was put in their heart maybe by you know a parent or somebody that you know motivated them to say hey you can do that so um you know we want to just give you an awesome start and then it's up to you with what you do with that because we definitely try our best at some point to give you the tools that you need to be able to do duplicate what we did in your own personal um go comings and goings so one of the things i can tell you about my secret is that if a person does sign up for the free marketing package um then if you want to build your marketing platform you want all of the different things that you're doing with your marketing plan to be on free platforms if that's what you're trying to do then definitely contact us because we do that for anywhere from 50 to 150 dollars so at 50 dollars 50 dollars how often do we throw away 50 dollars and if you are low income we'll probably do that for anywhere from free to 25 dollars because to me being able to see you do well in business is not about making a profit per se. It's more so about knowing that you have some sweat equity in the game. You have some kind of commitment because I've done things for people that cost thousands of dollars just to hear them say, oh, that was nice. That was wonderful. They're getting benefit from it and then they do nothing with it afterwards. So the thing is, is that I want to know that you have some sweat in the game. I want to know that you're serious about what it is that you're doing. But at the same point in time, we want to make sure that our help is available to anyone who is serious, even if they do not have the financial means in order to acquire these types of mentorships and these types of collaborations. So the thing is, is definitely get in touch with Holistic Coaching. And so at the end of the day, if you have a vision, if you have um, purpose in your heart that you want to see come to pass, it's your creative vision then definitely reach out to Holistic Coaching. You can do that via email. You don't even have to hear my voice again. Uh, you can do it via email. So just go to the website. It'll be flashing, flashing, flashing. And check us out. Uh, I just want to take a moment and just say once again, thank you so much for joining me, Jan Harp, here on whichever social media platform that you are watching this on. Uh, I just love trying to connect people to resources i love trying to motivate people towards accomplishing their goals because there was a time when i was not motivated to accomplish my goals and there were times when i held myself back from opportunities because of you know things that happened in the past and there were just times when on and on and on so the same thing for you there were times when but right now is not that time right now you are motivated to accomplish your goals so thank you for helping me accomplish mine by allowing me to reach you. Now you take the message to someone else and together we'll all be encouraged to accomplish our dreams. Have an awesome rest of the day. Shine in your lane. Thank you for watching. Okay, so the kids just told me that the name of the artist is Little Baby. The name of his friend is actually money bag yo i have no idea what the song is called but i'm sure if you look up the feature and you'll find it is it really that serious i don't know but anywho and y'all can't see that oh my living place i wish you could you know what let me see i wish i could flip this around to you can you see that? and he gonna oh god 
Mm -mm. Nature. That's nature. I don't know if he was able to see it or not, but that raccoon just slipped into that tiny little hole. That's why I'm up here, not on the first floor. So I hope that this video was beneficial to you. If it was, you know, please hit share, hit like, hit follow, um, subscribe on YouTube. Um, our thing is to motivate you, to motivate you to understand that you can get started. You can get started right where you are. Um, I will take a quick moment for those who want to stick with me for another 30 seconds and, um, you know, tell you a little testimony from my mother. My mother um, has passed from here. She's no longer um, here with us on this earth. And before she left, <clears throat> before she left, um, she came down to Florida from New York and she sat in on a group that we had at one of the transitional houses. And one of the words of advice that she gave to the women, because my mother's struggle was alcoholism. And one of the words of advice that she gave them that I'll never forget and clients who are still in contact with us, um, you know, always mention and say they will never forget. And I've been just encouraging and encouraging people to remember this. Every day is a brand new day. Whatever you did yesterday, you do not have to continue to do that today. That's simple. It's not that easy, but the formula is that simple. So even though yesterday you were busy, 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 you didn't have time, you didn't have money, you were kind of stressed, frustrated, fear was trying to get the best of you, you were praying, you were trying, you were praying, you were trying. Today is a new day. Today you could just walk in faith. Today you could just speak it into existence and say, you know what? My business is successful. My business is moving forward. My business is growing. My pockets are growing because I'm blessed. And it's going to work out for you. I want you to be encouraged today. I want you to be encouraged. Be encouraged. Motivate yourself to do marketing. It is going to be beneficial. Without marketing, you are going to be stuck in the rat race of seeking after time, seeking after finances, seeking after clients. So the thing is, shining your lane. Do what it is that you are supposed to do. Every day, put your best foot forward. But at the end of the day, remember, sometimes you have to step out of your comfort zone. And stepping out of your comfort zone may be what you have to do in order for you to put marketing first. So be encouraged. Have an awesome, awesome rest of the day.